come to a comfortable seat. You can have um, just a cross-legged seat if you'd like. Maybe you want to sit on your knees. You can start shedding those socks off. Bring in the new year the right way. I don't know what that means, but I think that means when you get onto your mat, <laughs> this is the right way. <sighs> so let the hands come to the thighs and release the, the thighs. Re release any tension we have in the knees, and that, that'll get into the hips already right there. Sit up tall. And if you can, sitting on a block or a blanket, anything to elevate those hips. That'll help you release a little more help you relax and of course sit up tall. So we'll root down through our sits bones and then slowly let the eyes shut. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it out, let it go. Let this whole day go, let Monday go. Get out of the, the rest of the week. Come right here with the hands on the thighs. Maybe you just give yourself a little rub, come acquainted with the physical body. And then of course, anchoring through the tailbone, allowing that to tuck so the, pel the pelvis can lift a little. And that'll really grow the spine long, feeling like you've a, almost like a puppet string through the heart. And the shoulders just drop back and down. We can give ourselves a little roll, roll the shoulders up by the ears, back and down. Yeah, I like the movement. If you wanna find some movement, feel it out. Get into your space. And if you want some stillness, please just drop in. Let's drop in and really, again, anchor into the breath. So let's take another deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth to let it go. Relax, feel the release even more from the shoulders. Take another deep inhale through the nose. This time, keep the mouth closed. Exhale, sigh it out the nose. Find that ujjayi breath, that whisper-like, that ocean-like sound. You can try, try to make it on the inhales as well as the exhales. This breath will really guide you today, not only through the practice of the poses and, um, and the passive and the active, but it's also going to allow the mind to keep coming back to this moment right here. Once you can't hear the sound anymore, once you notice what it's like, you know, you, then you know you're, you're right back here, you're present. And if you notice that it's quicker, more shallow, it's all right. You're, you're present, but maybe you can find that, that deepening of it. So getting into the low, low belly with each inhale. And then on each exhale, letting it all go, not letting any breath linger at the bottom of the lungs. So drop in here. And then we could keep the eyes closed or just have a soft gaze forward and down. We're gonna lift the hands to heart center. Again, relax the shoulders, spread the fingers wide. We'll bow the head slightly just so the back of the neck can extend. Taking this moment, you know, maybe of course whispering or adding anything into the palms and the hands. We're cultivating, manifesting, adding some intentions, whatever that might be for you. Maybe that's just like, you arrived, you're here. So we'll take another deep inhale just like this. And then on the exhale, interlace the fingers and press the palms forward, really round the spine, maybe even curl in a little. And then we'll press the palms forward and up. And then let the palms float down towards the base of the skull here, yeah. Really spread those elbows wide. Press the head into the hands, open up the chest, take a deep inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin round the spine. Let the elbows just frame the face as you curl it in and on your inhale reach up scooping the heart forward and up slight back bend and then on your exhale curl it in <sighs> inhale reach up really pressing the head into the hands this time exhale lean to the left let the right elbow go towards the sky feel that right side body stretch on your inhale rise up exhale lean to the right Left elbow lifts, keep pressing the head into the hands. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lean to the left. Right elbow rises. Again, breathing into that right side body. On your inhale, lift up, release the hands and twist to your right. 
Bring the left hand to the right thigh and the right hand just behind you, maybe propping up on the fingertips. Send the gaze past the right shoulders. Really fan the collarbones wide. Keep sitting up tall, not arching the low back, tucking the tailbone and opening the chest. Take another deep inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, twist a little further. And then we'll unwind, face forward. Sweep the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers, lower the palms to the base of the skull. Press the head into the hands, inhale. Exhale, lean to the right. Open up that left side body. Inhale, reach up. Lean to the left, right elbow reaches towards the sky. Inhale, lift, move with your breath. And then exhale, lean to the right. Left elbow reaches up, keep pressing the head into the hands. And then inhale to rise up. We'll release the hands and twist to the left. Left hand behind you. Right hand, you could have the back of the right hand or even the palm pressing against the left leg. Really rolling the shoulders away. And then keep sending that gaze behind you. <sighs> Coming into everything with full deep breaths. Take another inhale here. Then stay for the exhale. We'll unwind, sweep the arms out and up, and then bend the elbows and just start to shake it out. Let it go. Do what feels good here. Maybe you don't even do this. Maybe you like the stretching. Get into the fingers. Maybe you flick the fingers. Get a little loose, and then we're going to climb it forward into a tabletop position. So if you're in a blanket, maybe you keep the blanket there to allow some padding for the knees. Maybe move the props, everything out of the way. We'll stack the elbows beneath the wrists, or I'm sorry, the elbows over the wrists, <laughs> and the knees, you try doing that, the knees <laughs> underneath the hips. Spread the fingers wide. Maybe even spin the index finger so that it's directly going towards the top of the mat. And this will allow the inner uh, elbows to face forward and then allow the chest to open a little more, again, to deepen the breath. Start to move with your breath. So on an inhale, lift the hips, drop the belly, lift the gaze, find cow pose. On your exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the spine, release the head for cat. Inhale, move like a wave. Keep starting with the hips, ending with the head. And exhale, find your way to round the spine. Keep doing this. And of course, add any other movements that might feel kind to your body right now but be intentional with the breath. So wait until you fully release the exhale and move into the inhale, then you move into the next movement. So maybe you find a slow, steady pace. Maybe it's a little quicker. Get to explore what your body's asking for today in this, in this point of the practice. See where you could gain more access for space, for breath. Maybe even spin the fingers towards the, the knees and move through a couple of rounds like that. Keep sticking with that ujjayi breath, allowing it to guide you on and off the mat. We'll just do one more full round. Next time you inhale, just come to a neutral spine. We're gonna tuck the toes and walk the hands about a handprint forward. Start to shift the hips back towards the heels. Ground the forehead or maybe it hovers over the mat. We'll keep the arms engaged as we stretch the soles of the feet. So really plugging in those fingers, plug in the upper arms and maybe you try to roll the inner elbows as much as you can towards the ceiling. And as you do that, you're activating the arms. So really digging the fingers in to kind of rip the mat apart and stretch the soles of the feet, feeling the inner and outer heel, just reaching up and down. Take another full breath and exhale. With the arms active, keep digging the fingers in. On your next inhale, start to peel your whole body up. Shift the shoulders past the wrist. We're gonna drive the heels back, lift the knees. Find a plank pose. So firing up here nice and early. Feel that belly get hard. 
Feel it getting strong and plug the head in. So tucking the chin, letting the spine get long and let the tailbone reach towards the heels. Take another breath just like this. And then on your exhale, lower the right knee down and sweep that foot off the mat. So going to the side and then we're going to ground the inner left foot and you'll already feel the, the hips stacking on top of each other. So finding the supported side plank. Maybe you begin to float the left hand to the hip, just feeling out your foundation. Maybe you look ready to float that hand to the sky and open up for a nice, nice little side plank. And do whatever you'd like here. Maybe you want to float that left leg up, find some balance. Maybe you're ready to uh, windmill the, the left arm. So just making big circles. <sighs> and exaggerating this movement to so really open up the chest as back. And of course, remembering to reverse your circle. Maybe if that leg is lifted, beautiful. Yeah, you wanna grab the foot, either finding a quad stretch or maybe an active back bend. I love the choices. Take another breath wherever you are. And exhale, start to release, maybe lowering the left foot down. We're gonna lower the left hand down. Roll onto the ball of the left foot and, of course, stretch that right leg long, finding a high plank. I like to bend my knees, yeah, almost like a mountain climber, just to let it out a little. And then we'll fire up again. So find that plank. We'll start to lower the left knee down, sweep that foot off the mat. Let's roll onto the inner right foot, stacking those hips open up to the right side for the side plank. Maybe rolling the wrist getting those big, big windmill circles in the arm and the shoulder. Beautiful. Keep doing that, or if you've had enough, you can reach that right arm up, maybe float the right leg. And flexing the foot so you could grab it. Beautiful. Doing whatever your breath is guiding you to do tonight, whatever your energy levels are telling you. Take another breath just like this. And then exhale, come back slowly. We'll find plank pose, fire it up. Take a deep inhale, finding length in the spine. On your exhale, lower the whole belly, everything to the mat. With the chin tucked, pressing the hands into the, palm, or the palms into the mat, we're gonna slowly roll up for a baby cobra. So draw the elbows in, roll the shoulders back. Take another breath just like this. Exhale, head down, press through hands and knees as we lift the hips to find downward facing dog. So pedal out your feet. Again, maybe it's your first downward dog in like a week, a month, months. Feel it out, walk it out. Again, connecting to the ujjayi breath here. So feeling the navel drawing up and back as you lift the hips. Press those inner thighs back. Reach the heels back and down. Take another full breath and let it go. It's like bend in the knees. We'll look towards our thumbs and take a slow stroll to the top of the mat. As many steps as you'd like, really breathing into the backs of the legs. And then once you arrive, just step hip width distance apart and hinge at the hips, maybe finding a rag doll. Maybe just interlacing the fingers at the base of the skull and letting the head get heavy, sending the weight towards the balls of the feet. Take another breath. Release whatever you're holding on to. We'll really dig down to all into all four corners of the feet. And slowly roll up to stand. So of course, deepening the bend in the knees, letting the head arrive last. Once we get here in our mountain pose, let's roll the shoulders up by the ears, back and down, beautiful. Maybe even shake it out. Get loose. <laughs> Coming into this position with empowerment, with um, a fulfilling, Status, like this is my stance, you know? Coming to the top of the mountain or to the top of your mat as if you're peeking over a mountain. So we're gonna root down and not only anchoring down as the feet, but anchoring the tailbone to lift the pelvis. Zip up in the midline, open the chest, maybe the palms face forward. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Feel the shoulders relax. On an inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Palms press, gaze lifts. Exhale, dive it forward, fold in half. 
Inhale, rise up halfway, palms to shins, collarbones are wide. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step it back to a high plank pose. On your exhale, lower all the way to the belly, tucking the chin, drawing the elbows in. Inhale for baby cobra. Exhale, head down. We'll crawl through tabletop and then lift the hips for downward facing dog. Find your breath, find your flow. On your inhale, rise to the balls of the feet, look past the thumbs. You could step, hop, or walk to the top of the mat. We'll land with a long spine halfway up. On your exhale, fold. So follow your breath, root down through the feet. Inhale, rise all the way up, palms press. Find a slight arch in the back, saluting the sunset. <laughs> and then exhale, dive it forward, tracing the midline of the body. Inhale, rise up halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the palms, step or hop back. And this time on your exhale, float through your vinyasa your way. So maybe that's with or without the knees into chaturanga. Inhale to scoop the heart forward and up for baby cobra, upward facing dog. And then exhale, rolling over the toes, lifting the hips, finding downward facing dog. Beautiful. Find your breath, take another deep inhale. And exhale, rise to the balls of the feet, bend the knees, look past the thumbs, step, float to the top of the mat, whatever you want to do to get there. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. We're going to bend the knees, sink the hips, and sweep the arms up by the ears, finding chair pose, beautiful, utkatasana. Really sink the hips down, setting the weight towards the heels of the feet. So peek down at your toes, make sure you can see your big toe. And then we'll lift the heart, wrapping the pinkies in, tucking the tailbone. Take another full breath, just like this. Sink a little lower. On your exhale, straighten the legs and fold in half. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, lunge the left leg back in space, finding this runner's lunge. Pause here. Just arriving in this moment, feel the knee stacking over the ankle. We're gonna pour weight into the left palm, and then on an inhale, reach the right arm out and up. Beautiful, find a twist, opening the chest. Maybe you bend that right elbow, and let the, left ha the right hand go towards the left hip a little. Take another full breath. Feel like you're ripping the mat apart with the feet as you're trying to hug the thighs in together. <laughs> Interesting. Inhale to reach that right arm up. Exhale, lower the hand down as you lower the back knee. We'll untuck the toes and just climb the hands up onto that right thigh. Start to press the palms into the thigh. Open up the chest, finding a slight back bend. And then once you find your breath, on your exhale, start to soften the elbows and begin to press that right shin forward, sinking the left thigh forward and down. Inhale, lengthen the arms, open the chest, excuse me, slight back bend. Exhale, maybe soften the elbows and sink it forward. So maybe you find this flow with the breath. One more round. On your exhale, we'll release the hands to the mat. Start to walk the fingertips back as we send the hips towards the left heel. We'll roll onto the right heel and just lengthen the front leg and fold for like a half split. Of course, bring your blocks along with you if that's nice. Maybe you rest the forearms. And just for a couple breaths, tuck the chin to, of course, get some space, some breath into the spine. Another full breath here, and let it go. Move anything out of the way. We'll roll onto the sole of the right foot. Plant the palms, tuck the back toes, step it back to a high plank pose. On your exhale, you can lower your way with or without the knees, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart up, find baby cobra, upward dog. Exhale, send those hips up and back for downward facing dog. Nice. Moving at your pace with your breath. Take another deep inhale and let it go. We'll bend the knees, look past the thumbs, step, hop, or walk to the top of the mat. Land halfway up with a long spine. And then on your exhale, fold. 
bend the knees, sink the hips, sweep the arms up by the ears, find Utkatasana. Now you know what this feels like, so really plug the shoulders in, drop those shoulder blades down the back, wrap the triceps in towards the ears, sink the hips a little lower, one more breath. Exhale, stand up, fold in half. Inhale, rise up halfway, find some momentum. Plant the palms, we're gonna lunge the right leg back in space. And pause, now you know where we're going, but be right here in this moment, driving that right heel back, bending deeply in the left knee. Plant that right palm towards the mat, and on an inhale, reach the left arm out and up. Find your twist. And do whatever feels good. If you didn't get to roll out the arm or the shoulder, the wrist, you could do it here. Maybe you bend that left elbow and just let the left hand float behind you. Keep driving the right heel back. Take another full breath and let it go. We're going to unwind. Plant the left hand as we lower the back knee. Climb the hands up onto the thigh. So keeping the hips squared forward to the mat, the shoulder squared, right stacking on top of the hips. We can find a flow, if you'd like, stretching the elbows, bending the back, and sinking the hips down. Once you soften the elbows with the exhale. It's like a slow-mo pulse action if that feels good to you. It feels good to feel the psoas muscles sometimes, especially in that, this right hip. Take another breath. And then on the exhales, you come forward, we'll plant the palms, start to roll onto that left heel as we send the hips back, lengthen the front leg. Find this half split here on this side. Really draw those left toes towards the face and plug that left hip in. Keep the spine long. One more full breath. <sighs> Start to walk it forward, grounding that left foot. We'll tuck the toes, send it back to a high plank. On your exhale, you could go to downward facing dog or flow through your vinyasa. On your inhale, an upward facing dog, keep the thighs, knees, and hips off the mat. And then on your exhale, roll over the toes. Fine, make it a flow, make it nice and smooth and synchronized. That's what vinyasa is about. Take another breath and let it go. On your inhale, reach the right leg up and back. If you'd like, you could bend the knee and stack the hip and roll, at, roll it out. Or maybe you just pause here, opening up that hip just like this. If you circle it, make sure to go in the other direction. On your inhale, lengthen the leg long. So square the hips to the mat, toes facing down. On your exhale, bend knee to nose, really round the spine, and then step the right foot next to the right thumb. Ground the back heel so that it's, um, the toes are going towards the top left corner of the mat. And we want a space between the feet. So heel to heel or heel space alignment. We're going to face forward and rise up for warrior one. So bend deeply in that front knee. Nice. I'm pretty short. I'm 5'1". So is Allie. She's really short. But <laughs> if I find that in this stance, it's easier for my feet to be farther apart. So maybe you find that as well, especially to get this front knee really bent. And then we're going to take this left arm and really wrap the shoulder, the ribs, towards the top of the mat as much as we can. Take another full breath. Reach up through those fingers. On your exhale, start to float the hands behind you and interlace them at the low back. Press the knuckles away, open up. We're not going to go for a humble warrior, but we're going to lead with the heart as we exhale to fold forward and then release the hands down, step it back, float through your vinyasa, or go straight to downward dog. Waiting for the inhale to lift the heart. And that exhale to send you up and back. Beautiful. <sighs> Notice if you're holding your breath. Notice if your breath has quickened and maybe become more shallow. How can you drop in and tap in a little deeper? On your inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Again, you can bend the knee and stack the hip and do what you'd like, what feels good. 
Next time you inhale, yep, stretch that left heel back, square those hips. On your exhale, bend knee to nose, tip the foot next to the left thumb. Ground that back heel, get fired up, find your foundation. We'll face forward, rise up for warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Nice, yeah, feel your footing, find your stance, and then find the uplifted quality. So really pressing that right hip point forward. And tucking the tailbone as much as we can as we shift the energy towards the front of the mat with the left knee bending deeply and really anchoring the outer right foot here. Take another full breath. Exhale, sweep those arms behind you. Put the opposite thumb on top, that awkward one, and then really open up the chest. Feel those shoulder blade points <laughs> point towards each other, squeezing towards the spine. Take another deep inhale. On your exhale, lead with the heart as we come forward. Release the hands to the mat. Step it back, downward facing dog or a vinyasa. <sighs> nice. On the exhale, with or without the knees, lowering down. On the inhale, really pressing into the mat to lift the heart. Exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Take another nice full breath. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Inhale, float the right leg up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Set this foot in between the thumbs. We're going to ground the back heel so that it's almost parallel to the short edge of the mat. Use the left arm to lift you all the way up to Virabhadrasana 2. Nice. Footing should be heel to heel or heel arch alignment. Fingertips are reaching forward and, and backwards of the mat as the shoulders relax. I always like to check in with my back arm, make sure it is as leveled as I think it is. And then we'll send the gaze back forward and feel the shoulders here stacking over the hips, finding the zipping up quality in Tadasana. On your inhale, flip the right palm towards the sky. We're going to reach forward, up and back, radiate your warrior. Beautiful. Really open up this right side body. You could even lift that left hand if you want, just to give it a gentle tug to open up a little more. Keep bending deeply. Send the breath into the spaces in between the ribs. On your exhale, we're going to press that front leg straight. Keep leaning back. As you do this, sass the hips back. So we'll start to send the left hip back and then stand the torso up. So the arms will be out to a T. Feel the right hip cutting under as we keep reaching forward and then lower the right hand down to lift the left arm up for Utita Trikonasana, extended triangle pose. Nice. If you have a block, we'll set it behind on the pinky side toe of the foot, allowing the chest to open. So we feel like we're leaning back on a wall almost. And again, you could do what you'd like here. Maybe if you want to float that left hand behind you. Whatever you do, we're going to tuck the chin and keep the spine long as the gaze floats up towards the sky. Feeling all of this long line of energy through the right side body. Take another deep breath. And let it go. Move any props out of the way. We're going to lift the torso up. Bend deeply into the knee. Find warrior two. Nice. On your exhale, cartwheel the hands down, frame the front foot, step it back, float through your vinyasa, or go straight to downward dog. <sighs> Listening to your breath, what do you have energy for, where's the vitality flowing? Nice. Beautiful, as you come up and back, feel navel to spine. <sighs> and then press the inner thighs back towards the wall behind you. Take another full breath. <sighs> Inhale, lift the left leg up and back. Exhale, step it through in between the thumbs. Ground the back heel, set yourself up. Lift, let the right arm lift you back up to warrior two. Beautiful, feel the heart beaming through the fingertips and bend even deeper into that front knee. Relax the shoulders, relax your face, and really get engaged in this low belly. 
On your inhale, flip the left palm towards the sky, paint a rainbow, reach up and back, radiate your warrior. That right hand can just kind of drip down the back leg or maybe it, you go for a half bind behind you. Just find length. And then on your exhale, press that front leg straight and really from the, finger, the fingertips, yeah, feel the energy flow through the toe tips. Take another full breath. And then on your exhale, feeling the left hip cut under, lift the torso up. Start to reach those fingers forward. On your exhale, lower the left hand down, reach the right arm up for extended triangle pose. Again, finding all of those cues, leaning back on the shoulder blades as if you're leaning back on a wall behind you. Tucking the chin, raising the gaze, really feeling all of this energy, just feeling expansive in this pose, feeling like you could take up so much space. We'll find another deep inhale. Let it go. Let the next inhale lift you all the way up. Bend deeply into that front knee. Find warrior two. On your exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame the foot. Step it back. Flow through your vinyasa. Or find downward facing dog. Gorgeous. Really sticking with it. Finding the breath. Getting in tune. Dropping in with the self. Let's rise to the balls of the feet. Bend the knees, look past the thumbs. Step, hop, or walk to the top of the mat. We'll land with a long spine. Exhale to hinge. Plant the left palm directly beneath the face. On your inhale, reach the right arm up and, up and out. <laughs> out and up. <laughs> and bend into that left knee. Let's find a few breaths. Nice little twist. On your exhale, come back, replace the left hand with the right, reach that left arm up, bend into that right knee. Exhale, come back. We're gonna bend the knee, sink the hips, sweep the arms by the ears, Utkatasana. Really sink down here as much as you can, lift the heart. Exhale, spring it up, find Tadasana. Hands through prayer, and then we'll lower them by our sides. Again, shake it out. We don't want to get, you know, too stiff anywhere. So even in Tadasana, even if it's like a standing Shavasana, <laughs> feel softened. So we're going to ground down through all four corners of our feet. Really pour the weight into the, let's do the right foot. Um, you can do whatever you want with the arms. I like to float my hands to heart center first. Helps me find my balance. Helps me keep my heart lifted, my chest open. We're going to start to lift that left foot and place it somewhere on the right leg. So maybe you place it on the calf. Maybe you place it above the knee. We're finding tree pose. Get settled and maybe the hands come to the hips. Maybe the hands come to a supported wall or anything next to you. This is where we're going to find our drishti. So that's a point um, of anything that's right in front of you that's not moving. So this is how we can keep our balance and tap into the breath to allow us to keep our foundation steady. So with the left foot pressing against that right thigh or right leg, we're also going to press that leg into the foot. So keeping those hips squared. As you do that, actively pressing that left knee back and, and out. So we're not just kind of standing here like we're doing the dishes. <laughs> we're relaxing the shoulders and staying active in this thigh, so keeping it plugged in and keeping it engaged. You could float those arms up, maybe make cactus arms, whatever feels good. Maybe you interlace the hands at the base of the skull. We're just going to take another full breath here. Focus on our drishti and exhale. Keeping your eye on the drishti, bring the hands to heart center, and we're going to dial the left knee forward. We're flowing through warrior three, so there's your warning. <laughs> on your exhale, start to tilt the torso forward. It's okay if you fall out, we'll just get right back in. As you do that, start to lunge the left leg back, but we're going to keep the foot leveled with the hips. So um, you have a couple options that you could do here. We're going to keep, no matter what, where you are, we're going to have this left foot flexed and stepping the heel onto that wall behind us. And as much as we can, we're going to try to level our hips. 
if the hands at heart center don't feel good, we can stretch them back into almost like airplane arms. We could find blocks. Can't find my other block. <laughs> and find some support. Of course, it's not a full warrior three, but it's getting there. Or, of course, those arms could come to frame the ears, really sucking in navel to spine, find tadasana quality in that right leg, so keeping that right knee buoyant. And then, yep, when you are over it, start to step that left foot back. Find a lunge. Beautiful. Stick with it. I promise the torture is almost over. We're going to start to plant the hands down, frame the front foot, step it back, high plank pose. So, of course, we started the class out with a supported plank. Now we got to go to a full plank. We're going to start to pour weight into the right hand, rolling onto the outer pinky so toe side of the right foot. Maybe I stack those, hip, those feet on top of each other. Maybe you keep one foot in front of you. Do whatever you'd like with your arms. Once those hips are stacked, you could reach that left arm up. Maybe lift the left leg and step that foot somewhere like we did with tree pose. We'll just do one more breath. Exhale, come down to a plank pose, lower the knees, send the hips back, find child's pose. Find your breath. Hips could be wide, hips could be narrow. Arms could be stretched out in front of you or along by your side. Really ground the forehead. And feel the breath. So feel the belly pressing against the thighs. Feel the belly draw back, the lungs contract on each exhale. Follow the course of the breath. Allow yourself to stay right here in this moment. Knowing gladly and happily we have another side. <laughs> Just take another full deep inhale. Sigh it out. If the arms aren't stretched in front of you, place them there. We're going to plug into those fingertips, tuck the chin, peel yourself off the mat. Climb up into a tabletop, maybe walk the hands forward, tuck the toes, lift the hips, find downward facing dog. Put out the feet, get juicy, don't feel stuck yet. On your inhale, rise to the balls of the feet. Exhale, bend the knees, look past the thumbs and make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale to rise up halfway. Exhale to fold. Root down through the feet, inhale, rise all the way up. Palms press overhead. Exhale, hands through heart center, Tadasana. Shake it out, shake it out, get loose. We'll come back to our mountain pose. So last time we did the right leg, right? We're going to pour weight into the left leg. <laughs> Bring the hands to heart center or the hands to the hips. Start to slowly lift the right knee and then place that foot somewhere on the left leg. Anywhere but the knee, so above or below. We're going to come back to our, our centering. So find your drishti and something that's going to keep you anchored. And then we're going to work on our foundation so that left foot's rooting down and the hip is rising up. With the right foot pressed against the leg, we're going to actively press that right knee. I think I said back and, and, and out last time. We want back and down. Back and down. So we're keeping this hip plugged in and everything active. With the hands at heart center, lift the heart towards the thumbs. And then if you like, yep, start to reach those arms up. Beautiful. And do whatever you'd like. Maybe it's something different on this side. Nice. Yeah. A little freestyle. Allow the breath to keep you here. We'll take another deep inhale. And exhale. We'll bring hands to heart center. And start to guide that right knee forward. When you're ready, start to tilt the body forward as we kick this right foot back. Staying steady, staying slow, calm with control. We're going to start to lengthen the leg, toes facing down, and the hips are as squared as much as we can. And we'll do whatever we'd like with the arms. Again, maybe finding a support with the blocks. Virabhadrasana 3. Just take another breath. Relax the shoulders, relax the face. 
On your exhale, slowly lunge that right leg back. Exhale, frame the front foot. Step it back, high plank pose. Fire up. Now you know where we're going. Get, get ready. Start to pour weight into that left hand. Roll onto the pinky toe side of the left foot, maybe stacking the feet. And we'll open up. Beautiful. So keep lifting that left hip up. Lifting up out of the, out, I don't know, out of what, out of the mat. <laughs> really fire up those left ribs, those obliques. Beautiful stick with it. I love it. You could do whatever you'd like with the legs. Maybe finding like a sideways tree pose. Wherever you are, take one more full breath. And exhale, lower the right hand down, come back to a high plank, lower the knees, send the hips back, find child's pose, balasana. In any shape or form that you'd like. Find a release here. allow yourself to relax. Don't try to keep hardening the body, feeling like I got to get ready for that next thing. Allow the body to release here. The shoulders relax, the jaw, the forehead. Tap back into that deep breath. Take another deep inhale and exhale. Stay here. Of course, child pose isn't comfortable. Get somewhere that's comfortable right now. Maybe that means sitting up and getting some water. We'll take another breath. If you're in child's pose and the arms are alongside your body, start to reach them forward. We're going to climb up into a tabletop, so stacking the knees beneath the hips. And I regret that I didn't check in with everyone before, but um, you don't need blocks to do this. But if you do have two blocks, we're going to place them beneath the hands, so right beneath the um, shoulders. If you don't have blocks, it's fine. You don't, again, you don't need them. You can just use the mat. So you don't have a cool, so you'll be the demo for no blocks, <laughs> if you can see. And then um, start to lower onto the elbows. Again, you could do that there, yeah, on the forearms even, if that feels good. We just want to feel a little arch in the low back and allow some sinking in the heart. So wherever you are, how's that feel, Allie? I feel okay, yeah. Can you release the head down? And you could find just like a puppy pose if you don't have blocks, which is the same thing. So you could reach the arms forward if you don't have blocks. And um, tuck the chin, allow the forehead to ground, or even if you feel like you could get there, allow the chin to ground. And then if you're in praying, manti praying mantis pose with the blocks, you could let the hands touch above the head. And again, allow the heart to sink down. And just finding your breath here, staying present even in the passive poses. Take one more deep, full inhale. Let it go. We'll start to lift up. So walk the knees in if you need to, and then lift yourself off the blocks. We'll come back to a tabletop and um, just come all the way forward. We're going to lie on our belly. Let the arms come alongside the body. Let the palms face down. Tuck the chin, ground the forehead. Already start with the toes touching. So let the big toes come towards each other. Take a deep breath here and let it go. On your inhale, begin to lift the chest off the mat, the head off the mat. Lift the arms and the hands. So really reach those fingers back. Take another breath. On your next inhale, float the legs, the feet off of the mat, and find your locust pose. Opening the chest, keeping the spine long. Lift those toes even higher. Relax the buttocks. Find space in the low back. Lift up. Exhale, come all the way down, release. Maybe making a pillow with the forearms. And just find um, a little letting go here. Just, a, just two breaths. 
Start to lift the head up. We're going to place those arms back alongside the body. Palms facing down. Tuck the chin. On your inhale, lift everything off the mat. Head, shoulders, arms, hands. Maybe this time you interlace the fingers at the low back and send those knuckles towards the heels of the feet. Really lift up, opening the chest. This might allow you to lift almost the knees and the thighs off of the mat. Inshallah, Basana, keep breathing. One more breath. Exhale, release, and come all the way down to the mat. This time, maybe you let the legs go as wide as the mat and maybe bend the knees and windshield wiper the feet. Keep finding a release in the, the neck, the top of the spine here. Stick with it. One more breath. And then we're going to come back. So you could keep the knees bent and reach the arms back. Maybe you hold on to the ankles with the hands, either inside of the foot or maybe outside, whatever allows you to open up the chest. You could do this or come back to um, locust pose and stretch everything long. So on your inhale, begin to lift up. Lift those thighs off the mat. L open up the heart. Beautiful. If you're in bow pose, down, down asana, keep those hands locked on the ankles and flex the feet. Feel like you're stamping the ceiling with the soles of the feet. Maybe you find a rocking with the breath. Feel like you're, you have a block between your knees and really hug the knees together as you release the buttocks as much as you can. Take another full breath, lift up, kick those feet towards the sky. Exhale, release, come all the way down. You can bend the knees again if you'd like and windshield wiper the feet. We're going to um, roll onto the back, so take your time getting there. We're going to roll onto the back and hug the knees in. Give your low back maybe a little massage by rocking um, the knees in a circle in one way and then the other direction. And then if it feels good to you, find a happy baby. And if it doesn't, you could just hug the knees in and keep rocking. You could find a happy baby by sliding the arms up inside the knees, capturing the feet, and just rocking back and forth. Maybe you lengthen one leg and then the other. Some playtime. <laughs> you could find plow pose if that feels good. Eventually, wherever you are, we're going to make our way up to sit. So that could mean you rocking vertically on the spine. You could bend the knees and fall off to one side and just build your way up. Come to sit with your legs long in front of you. And then we'll bend the right knee and step the right foot outside of the left thigh. Keep the left foot flexed. Of course, I should have said before getting there, move any flesh out of the way just to give ourselves some space. So you have an option, you could keep the left leg long or you could bend the knee and bring that heel of the foot towards the left glute or the right glute. So coming in like this. And then we're gonna take our, our left arm, bring it up by the ear, take the right hand and sweep that behind us, bend the left elbow and hook it outside of the right thigh. If that doesn't feel good or too intense, you can always hug this right knee in and then, of course, open the chest towards the right side of the mat. Really let the gaze go behind you. Keep sitting up tall, deepening the breath. Beautiful. We'll unwind, face forward. Keep the legs um, where they are. I can't see what everyone's doing, but um, if you have that left leg stretched, we're going to bend it anyway, and then start to walk that right foot over off the mat and try to stack the knees as much as we can. 
we're getting into gomukhasana. So this is a, an outer hip opener. We want to feel this in the right outer hip. If you don't, um, you can let me know, or um, we, can, we can just find another option. So you're not going to feel it right away. Maybe you do. Who knows? Everyone's different. We're going to, um, you know, let's just do this. We're going to add some arm stretches, but feel this at first. So start to walk the hands forward as you fold over towards the knees. Allow the chin to clear the knees. And then see as much as you can to relax the upper body. Relax everything. Um, keep the feet flexed. And again, notice if you see, feel this in the outer right hip. How do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> Ali's like, yeah. Um, if, again, this isn't accessible to you, 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 you don't need to tell me. Um, we can find a different way by maybe stacking the, the shins on top of each other and coming into square pose. Um, it's, this, it's the same stretch if you do it that way. That's usually not the most accessible pose either. <gasps> so just keep breathing. We'll do one more breath just like this. Keep the spine long. And then on your inhale, start to peel yourself off your knees. We're going to stretch both legs long and just pat it out. Let it go. Roll the shoulders. And then we'll have both feet or both legs long in front of us. We'll bend the left knee and step that foot outside of the left, the right thigh. Getting my lefts and rights really mixed up tonight. I'm so sorry. You seem like you're all following along, which is great. <laughs> so we're going to either flex the right foot and keep the leg here, or we're going to bend that right knee and bring that heel towards the left glute. Um, to know if you feel comfortable doing this or not, if you can't ground that left glute, then keep the right leg long. Reach the right arm up by the ear. Send the left fingertips behind you. We'll bend that right elbow and hook it outside of the left thigh. Again, you could hug it in if that feels good as well. Whatever keeps that spine elongated. Send the gaze past the left shoulder as much as you can. Take a full breath. Fill the body. <sighs> Wash over the organs with the exhale. Send the gaze a little further. One more. And let it go. We'll unwind. Um, all right. So wherever you are, we're going to get there. This time with the left knee stacked over each other. Yep. So walk that left foot over towards the, the right side of the mat. And sit up tall. So flex the feet. Sit up tall here. You might already feel it in that left outer hip. And then begin to walk the hands forward. Fold over the knees as much as you can. Of course, using any props that will help you in the process, bringing the earth closer to you to relax anything that's not currently being engaged. Again, this is Gomukhasana cow facing pose. Send those exhales to the outer left hip. And let it go. <sighs> Start to lift yourself up. And we'll unwind, stretch both legs long, pat it out, let it go, feel the release. You might feel like a warm sensation coming from that left hip. Maybe not. <laughs> Let's stretch both legs out wide. You could come off the mat, sideways on your mat. Bring the hands towards the hips, flex the feet, sit up tall. Start to walk the hands forward. Keep the toes lifting up towards the sky. Maybe you come to the forearms. Maybe you just reach those arms forward. Of course, sending the breath here to the inner thighs, the groin area. One more full breath. Start to walk yourself back in. And we're going to keep the right leg long. You have an option, two options with the left knee. We're going to bend it and either bring the sole of the foot towards the right thigh, or we'll bend it and externally um, rotate. We'll abduct the knee. So you could also bring it out like this. Whatever is comfortable. We're going to slide the right arm inside of that right leg. Inhale, sweep the left arm out and up. Let the palm face the toes. And then you, or um, at least that towards the top of your mat, and then you could lower the palm towards the toes. Just another side body stretch. Take one more inhale. 
Let it go. Start to lift yourself up. Keep the legs where they are and start to rotate the torso so that the shoulders are framing the long leg. And we'll just tuck the chin and start to walk the hands forward and fold over. So feeling, of course, the breath enter the back of the leg here. And we're all shaped and put together different ways. So however you can get to this position, <laughs> take another breath. Start to lift yourself up. And we're going to stretch this left leg back out. Bend into the right leg. And of course, choose your option. Maybe you go with what you just did. Maybe you find a different angle here. Nice. And then we'll slide the left arm inside of the, the left leg. Sweep the right arm out and up. We could lower that right hand towards the toes. Really wrapping the left ribs under and over to get this side body stretch. Start to lift yourself up. And then shift the torso to spin towards the long leg. Maybe you have to slide this leg in a little. That's why I said get there how you need to get there. <laughs> and then we'll frame our shoulders with the long leg and start to tuck the chin and fold it forward. Keep that left foot flexed and let the heart just go towards the leg. Begin to lift your body up and we'll come to um, a comfortable seat on the mat with the legs long in front of us. So whichever direction you're facing, <laughs> flex those feet. Find um, Dandasana here. So really pressing the backs of the leg into the mat. We're going to press the palms next into the mat next to the hips. Open the chest. Really lengthen the spine. And then on your inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. One more forward fold. Tuck the chin round the spine. Feel this gentle tug on the low back. Take another breath. Let it exit slowly. Start to peel yourself off the mat, and we're going to slowly just lie the whole body down onto the back, finding Shavasana, our final resting pose. So whatever you need to do to set yourself up for a sweet Shavasana corpse pose, maybe you um, roll a blanket up and place it beneath the knees. Maybe you stick some blocks under there. If you have an eye pillow, let that lay over the eyes. Allow this moment, this pose to just release everything that was left, everything we just dug up to the surface. Let's take one more collective inhale together. So make fists with the hands, curl in the toes, scrunch the eyebrows, scrunch the face, take a deep inhale. Pause at the top, take another sip in. And then exhale. <sighs> Find that release, really melting into the mat.
start to deepen the breath. Feel like the inhales are entering through the crown of the head. And then the exhales just wash over the body. Allowing the toes to maybe wiggle, the fingertips to move, maybe rotating the ankles and the wrists. And you could rock the head back and forth. Start to bend one knee in towards the chest, followed by the other. Give yourself a tight squeeze. Give yourself some love. And when you're ready, start to let the legs fall off to one side. Slowly build your way up to sit. If you can, keep the eyes closed or have a soft gaze. You could prop yourself up again. Let the hands come to the thighs, palms facing down. And roll the shoulders up by the ears, back and down. <sighs> feel those elbows just drip from the armpits. And notice how you feel. Take in this moment um, of space, of, of just kind of serenity or of bliss, wherever you are. Arrive here, remain here. And then let's lift the hands up to heart center. Relax the shoulders. Hmm. We'll start to float the base of the thumbs to the third eye. And lean back. We'll invite in all that light, love, and peace. Everything you want to bring in with you to the new year. On your exhale, let go of what no longer serves you. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you.